Hello, my name is Alexander Roller Knapp, and today I'm standing at Confluence Park. This is the confluence of the Olentangy and Scioto Rivers, and I'm here to explain a floatable trash problem that we have here. So right behind me you can see that all of these items, all of these plastic bottles, styrofoam cups, other floatable items, they're all floating in the watershed and functioning like woody debris. So basically what is happening here is you see all of these items that are functioning the same way in the watershed at high water. You have plastic bottles, styrofoam cups, a lot of woody debris. And basically my theory is that when it rains and the water level goes up a couple feet, all of these items are picked up on the riverbank and transferred downstream until they collect or stop in one place. So what I have here is a uh, it's a down tree limb that was stopped on some other trees so that when this basin was filled up with water, all of these items landed in this spot. They stopped here along with the woody debris and then got deposited on the ground as the river level lowered or as the water was let out, but the trash was left on the ground. So basically, my theory is that when you get a high water event, all of these floatable items will function like woody debris and usually end up in the same place in the watershed. So that gives us an, a great advantage if we would like to design something like a river trash collection system or a floatables collection system where we could dispose of all of these floatable trash items because they're landing in the same spot. Most of our rivers lead into the ocean. So by stopping things like this um, in the location where they occur, we can possibly stop the floatable ocean trash problem as well. Hey, I'm Matt Wolf with Flow, and uh, we're down here along the uh, confluence of the Scioto and Olentangy. And we've worked on numerous trash pickups along the Olentangy River bike trail but certainly the magnitude of trash collecting down here is, is surprising to most of us. Hi, um, my name's Diana. I'm down here with Flo. I'm trying to pick up some trash here close to the side of the mile, something that's really needed and um, a big job. Um, we'd love to have more people get involved with Flo and get our rivers cleaned up. a big project. I didn't realize how big it was until we got down here and this is just this patch and there's more up there and it's just kind of just talking with one of the other guys and we were talking about how depressing it was makes you want to come back tonight and see if there's people here and leave some stuff but um, we seem to be making somewhat of a dent and we just got here so hopefully it'll, it'll make a bigger dent. We are at Confluence Park with a bunch of members from CCSL, Columbus Center for Spiritual Living, and we're trying as an example of how a community can make, uh, make a difference a little at a time. With a group of us trying to pick up uh, a whole lot of trash here a little at a time, you can kind of see with the group effort, uh, a small contribution becomes uh, quite a mountain quite a mountain of uh, contribution and a mountain of trash that we're getting out of here. So a little at a time, community effort, 
and making a difference. So my impression is um, something that I hadn't anticipated. Uh, all of the clothing and so much of the personal items that have been left behind by somebody that we're cleaning up uh, brings a lot of things to my attention and certainly one of them is uh, gratitude for what I have. My name is Alexander Rollernap and my passion is solving the floatable garbage problem from land. By 2020, I would like to remediate over 100 tons of trash from our freshwater rivers and streams. All of our rivers and streams lead to the ocean, and if we solve the problem from land, we can limit the ocean trash pile. To get involved, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll post information related to physical cleanup events that the general public can participate in. I know I enjoy clean water, and healthy ecosystems that will continue to support diverse fish and wildlife communities. Thanks again to all the viewers and volunteers that came out to help out.